What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys something really, really cool um, as far as spin tires goes. Now, this is the full version of the game in a very late beta. Now, I was contacted by the, uh, by the publisher of spin tires, and they gave me a code for this game uh, to add it to my Steam library so I could check it out and show it to you guys. Now, this is basically the full version of spin tires, except for there are a few like, bugs and glitches in this version that aren't in the full version, but fundamentally, this is the full version of Spin Tires. So, just to give you a quick walkthrough real quick, you do have single player and multiplayer. Now, it's searching for games and lobbies, but it doesn't really find anything, and you have two modes. You got Casual and Hardcore. Now, Casual, you can uh, rescue your truck to an unlocked garage, you can skip time, you can, uh, yeah, like, your fuel consumption is a lot lower, but on Hardcore mode, you, you can't rescue to garages, you can't skip time, and you can't engage the diff lock while using an automatic gearbox. And the fuel consumption is also quite a bit higher, so basically realistic fuel consumption. Now, you also have four games to choose from. You got the Coast, and what the heck was that? Like, my, I think it was my Xbox 360 controller disconnecting. Anyway, you've got the Coast, you got the Hill, you got the Plains, and you've got the River. Now, a bit on the Coast a little bit. But honestly, I think I want to give um, the hill a try because I've never tried it before, and I just want to see I want to see what it's like, and I want to try out a, a totally fresh map. Now, this is going to be in casual mode, obviously, because I don't want to go and uh, jump straight into hardcore or any crap like that. But we're just going to go ahead and see what um, what they managed to do with the um, with the with basically what is the full version of spin tires. Now, you've got add-ons for trucks. And you've also got different uh, different wheel options. Now, okay, that's, okay. So you have to be at a garage to to choose from these mods. And again, you could do pretty much anything you want. You could do a carriage, you could do a log cart, you could do fuel cistern, you could do um, a utility attachment, you could do really whatever you want. Now you could have, you could have larger wheels. As you can see there, you could change between the default wheels and the larger wheels. Now, if you click Advanced, you can also click on Change Truck, and if you rotate around, we'll be able to see... Okay, I was just going to see if there was another truck in the area, but uh, apparently there isn't. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and start exploring a little bit with this thing. If we could position the camera properly. Now, you have all the um, all of the features that you guys um, that you guys remember from the tech demo. But you also have some more. You also have uh, the winch option, which is new. You have the uh, the uh, the usable cranes and hooks and things like that, which is also new. And you just have a bunch of cool new stuff that uh, that you didn't that they didn't really show anybody uh, in the actual tech demo. And it also runs smoother than the tech demo, which is nice. Now, also with these bridges, as you can see, you go over the bridges, and depending on which truck you're in, they will flex. This truck, they don't really, it doesn't really flex at all, but with larger trucks like the MAZ, these bridges will actually flex under the weight of the truck. And something else that I noticed that's a big difference between, say, the tech demo and the full game is the quality of the water. The water in the full, in, well, what is basically the full game, looks really, 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 really nice. Really, really nice. And I think the reasoning behind that is the fact that they've spent a lot of time working on the finer... Uh, texture details. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright guys, so we're back, and I did figure out how to rescue trucks. All you have to do is press F1 and bring up the map. Now, on the map, you can see, you can see that there's a ton of area that hasn't been explored yet. I mean, you can see where the garage is, is basically, if we can, there we go. Um, the garage is... God, if I could figure out how to use this damn map. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you can see you can see kind of the lay of the land. You can see the trees. You can see pretty much everything. And you can see also that the size of the truck and the size of the garage. And then if you look at the size of the map, it is so massive. So massive. I mean, it'll take a long time to explore all that. Seriously. If we can get back into the game. And, uh, let's try not to get stuck immediately this time. 
And also, let's see if we can find some other vehicles. Because in the in the full game, you, you can't just spawn uh, vehicles in whenever you want to. You have to actually look for them on the map, and they're there for a specific purpose. Like, for example, um, there'll be a log truck with a, uh, with a crane, um, say, near a logging site. Or there'll be um, a rescue vehicle near an area where somebody needs to be towed out. So every, all the vehicles are strategically placed around the map, and you just have to find them and make sure that make sure that when you switch to them, first of all, that you don't leave your current vehicle somewhere where it can't be uh, accessed, because if you do that, then you're kind of out of luck if you want to use that other vehicle again. Oh, God. Okay, please don't roll. That was close. That was really, really close. That kind of scared me, actually. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to spin the camera around because I just want to make sure I can line up with this bridge properly. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that's flexing like crazy. Wow, I mean, we made it across it, but dang, that bridge was flexing like crazy. <coughs> Get the camera positioned in the right place. As you can see, I'll just show you guys real quick. We hit a tree. There you go. You see 1% one, uh, 1 damage, basically. So... Everything that you hit will give you a little tiny percent of damage depending on what you hit. Um, if it's something larger, obviously it'll give you more damage. If it's something smaller, it'll give you less damage. And some of the roads in this area are a little bit better maintained um, than the ones uh, that we saw at the start. But they're still pretty, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say fallen out of disrepair. But they are kind of on the, uh, on the, uh, on the nicer side as opposed to what we saw earlier. Now, uh, we have found the edge of the map, and it doesn't look the greatest. But honestly, I don't really care. Because if you play spin tires, you already know that the, the maps are going to have edges. So, I don't really care about that. I think if, if somebody's going to criticize that, honestly, just, I think, just screw them. Because that's not what spin tires is about. It's not about, you know, having polished map boundaries, you know? Like, they didn't even probably even give that they didn't probably didn't even give that a second thought when they were making the game because it's all about the simulation it's all about the deformation model it's all about um everything that went into this game technology wise and i'm hoping i can come out on the other side of this little woods <laughs> without running into anything there's a light over there is there a vehicle over there oh and it's a paved road okay sweet hell yeah i'll take a paved road Now, this should lead somewhere, or at least lead to, uh, some other areas of the map. Now, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, those rocks actually move. Because in the tech demo, rocks didn't move like that. Now, there should be multiple garages, but I don't know where the other garages are. And I think that's, is that another edge? It might be. I'm just gonna stick with the road for now. I think that's a pretty good idea. Pretty good, uh, pretty good deal just to stick with the road. Get s stay straight. I wonder if I can use the keyboard, like, in tandem with the Xbox 360 controller. I'm gonna try that right now. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, so I just switched the diff lock on and off with the keyboard. But I'm also driving with the Xbox 360 controller, so that works out perfectly. Still no idea where this goes, though. Suppose we could check the map and see where we are. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so not bad. Uh, apparently there's an objective down there. Oh, God. I keep pressing the escape key to get out of uh, the map view. But if we stay on this road, it looks like we should be able to get to a... Uh, some, kind of, some kind of objective. Let's see if we can shift this thing to a quicker gear. Now, I think that just kind of locks it in first. 
And I know down there is reverse. I don't know if, like, it, it keeps telling me engine is stalling, but I don't know what the, uh, like, if there's a, uh, if there's a key or a key combination, uh, for clutch. So, honestly, I'm not sure how that actually works. I'm gonna have to, uh, figure it out, and I'm sure there's, um, an explanation for it somewhere, but I'll have to figure it out, and I'll, uh, I'll once I figure it out, I'll definitely, um, tell you guys what it is in a future video, so... If anybody's having trouble finding that, I'll make sure that you guys know where it is. Hope we didn't drive past the objective or something. That would suck. Wait, wait, I see a building. Yes, I don't see any other trucks yet, but... We've got an objective here, though, so let's see what we have to do. Just roll into the objective. Oh, come on! Go faster! Oh, you're trucking- Oh, okay. Okay. I know what we have to do now. I know what we have to do now, and I'd also know why it wouldn't accept the truck. Yeah, okay. So, we have to- We have to get all the way over there to the lumber location, load up a truck, and then drive all the way back here. So- that's a long way. That's definitely a long way. But, um, I, uh, I think that's a little bit, um, I guess we'll save that for the next episode because I wanted to get a little bit more familiar with the game before I start to carry, uh, truckloads of stuff and try to complete objectives. But if you guys enjoyed this little first look, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.